hello guys welcome to my channel this is the eighth tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we'll be talking about escape sequences in C++ so an escape sequence is a combination of characters that has a special meaning in uh, most programming languages so we've already checked out the slash n escape sequence that uh, lets us print on a new line while using C out uh, there are two other escape sequences that are worth being noticed or you know maybe I should say that these are the two other escape sequences that I use often uh, while programming um, the slash a or the alert bell escape sequence and the slash t or the horizontal tab escape sequence so the slash a or the alert bell just makes a sound and uh, the sound that you hear would depend on the operating system that you're running I have Windows 10 installed on my system here so um, I hear the Windows 10 alert sound but if you're running Mac or Linux you uh, could possibly hear a different sound the slash T or the horizontal tab uh, generates space that's equivalent to five space characters if I'm not wrong and uh, both are very simple to uh, use you just have to enclose them within double quotes um, as was the case with the slash and escape sequence and um, as for the program that I have here it's very simple the name of the file as you can see is escape underscore sequences and in the file on line number three I've declared the main function on line number four and then I have the opening and closing curly braces respectively and then I have uh, declared and initialized two integer variables var1 and var2 with values 10 and 20 respectively and then on line number 6 I have a C out with the alert bell right so this is going to make the sound and then on line number 7 I'm first displaying the string value of var1 and then I'm using the slash t or the horizontal tab escape sequence to generate some space and then I have uh, uh, you know just the var1 so this is going to display the value in var1 that's 10 and then uh, on another line right because I have the new line escape sequence here so on another line we're going to see the string value of var2 and then some space and then the value that's 20 right so the file is saved I'll just click on build and run and there we go so the value of var1 is 10 we have some space here and the value of var2 is 20 I'm not sure if you will be able to catch the bell sound because I'm using a headset to record the audio for this tutorial and uh, the sound was maybe not too strong for the microphone to catch but uh, trust me it works I've tested it and uh, I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'm going to see you in the next video till then take care